63. And this is the third Big 12 school they played already this season. On the air, tip controlled by the Demons, and we're underway in the Farrell Center. Final game before Christmas break for both Baylor and Northwestern State. We'll give you the starters here in a moment, but you'll notice on the floor for Baylor, no Adam Flagler. Flagler out of the game tonight with an illness. Dale Bonner gets his fourth career start here at Baylor in place of Flagler. There's Bonner with a steal right on cue. Dale Bonner, the takeaway from Northwestern State. There are the starting five for the Bears. Deontay George, Dale Bonner, LJ Cryer, Flo Thamba, and Jalen Bridges. Starters for Coach Scott Drew and the Bears. The first offensive possession of the night. Bridges, a three, rims out left side. You know, Jalen Bridges is going through a shooting slump, and I think a part of it is he really hasn't gotten his full confidence back from West Virginia. I mean, he's only shooting 15% on the year, but I think once he gets his confidence going, he's going to help this team in a really big way, but they need him to get going. They need him to step up because against Power 5, he's only averaging five points a game. So they need him to really get going because they need a fourth option. So the five starters for Northwestern State, Sharp, Haney, Black, Hampton, and Wilmore. And there is Isaac Haney with the fadeaway seven-footer. Bucket is good for a 2 nothing lead. That's a tough bucket right there. One-on-one -on -one against Jalen Bridges with the length and the fadeaway. That's a tough shot right there. Pass deflected and out of bounds. Active hands by Sharp knocks that one out of bounds. 11th meeting all-time between Baylor and Northwestern State. Baylor leads the series 9-1 all-time. Flagler, the illness is out. King, you take that guy out of the lineup, that's, uh, that's a significant uh, loss in your lineup or in the rotation. Yeah, it definitely is, especially when you look at this team and how it's structured this year. I mean, you have three guys averaging over about 13, 14 points. Everybody else, the third, the fourth most, the fourth highest points per game. It's probably somewhere around like seven or eight. So I, I, you have to have a guy step up tonight. It can't be LJ and, and Keontae only. You have to have a third guy be able to step up. Bonner misses from the free throw line going against that 2-3 zone defense by Northwestern State. Here's Haney. Pass back to Jamonte Black. His three is off the mark. Jalen Bridges. The run out with the rebound. Bridges all the way to Thumba. One big step shot up too strong. No good. Two minutes, 20 seconds in. Baylor still looking for their first points of the night. Trailing 2-0 to Northwestern State. Corey Gibson, the first-year head coach for the Demons. Comes to Natchitoches from Missouri State. He was the assistant there at Missouri State. Four seconds on the shot clock. Sharp a little fade away. And he's good, and it's a 4 nothing lead. Yeah, this is a really interesting strategy. The past two times, Northwestern really believes that Baylor's guards cannot guard their guards, so they're sending everybody, telling everybody to get flat, and they're isolating at the top. That's an interesting strategy that I've never seen before. Pryor misfires on the three. Rebound put, pulled down by DeMarcus Sharp. Bears still 0 for three minutes in, first half. And as a basketball player, J-Mo, that's, that's low-key disrespect. You're trying to put me on an island saying, I can't guard you. Look, they're sending everybody flat saying, you cannot guard them. Look, 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 look at this. Really interesting. Almost isolating Sharp up there. He's going to take a shot. A little step back. Shot no good. Really interesting strategy, King. <laughs> Cryer, the breakaway, and he is fouled. There's Corey Gibson, the first-year head coach at Northwestern State. Again, associate head coach at Missouri State. He brought uh, three or four guys with him from Missouri State, transferred to Northwestern State. Eleven new faces on the Northwestern State roster this year, five of those D1 transfers. Not a shooting foul. Bears will inbound. Honor the trigger man for the Bears. Inbounds to Thamba and a trap in the corner. Ooh, and a foul. Well, on this out of bounds, but you have to be careful because they put the big fella, 6'10, long wingspan. He's covering the ball, so it makes it harder to see. And the four other guys are just scrambling around, making sure nobody gets open. And if the ball goes to the corner, they automatically trap it. 
you must be careful inbounding underneath the basket against this team. Big man is Jordan Wilmore, 6'10", 3'10", junior from Memphis, Tennessee. There's inbound. Now 15 on the shot clock. Bonner dribbles on the perimeter. To Keontae George. Clicks off a three, and it's good. First bucket of the night by Baylor, a three by Keontae George. Yeah, Keontae George has shown this season that all the hype that he had coming to high school was real. He, he's that level of talented. He, he's that good of a scorer. He has shown that he can compete with the best of them. At 19 in the Bears' most recent game, a 65-59 win over Washington State. Sunday night, just two nights ago in Dallas. In fact, Keontae George has led the Bears in scoring three consecutive games. There's Bonner. Big hands there. Tips the ball off of Sharp. Winning championships, national championships at Baylor. There's a banner that hangs in the Farrell Center now <laughs> of him and the Bears accomplishing just that. So here we go back to play. No changes for the Bears on the floor out of that timeout, although two, three subs are at the scores table to check in next dead ball. LJ Cryer can't get the ball to Bamba. Does get it to Bonner who knocks down the three. That's a great pass right there. And that's an area where LJ can really become a little better at. Being able to create and play make for others. I mean, he's such an elite scorer. You should let his scoring tip off his, his, his playmaking. Here's DeMarcus Sharp dribbling on the perimeter. Drives in. Shot short. Thamba rebounds for Baylor. Here's the ball to Keontae George into the front court. George, nice pass, pass to Jalen Bridges. He's hammered as he goes for the reverse. It's a great find. The bounce pass to a cut and Bridges in the dunker spot. That's a great pass from Keontae George. Second personal on Jordan Wilmore. And Bridges will go to the free throw line for Baylor. Transfer from West Virginia. Bridges at 79% shooting free throws on the year. All right, subs for the Bears. Here comes Josh Ojanwuna on the floor. Langston Love on the floor. Caleb Lohner will come in for Bridges after the free throw. A couple of subs for Northwestern State as well. Reggie Hill is off the bench, 6'8 sophomore from Melbourne, Florida. Second free throw is no good, and Hill claims the rebound. Greedy Williams is on, 6'4 freshman from Montgomery, Alabama. 7-0 run by the Bears since they trailed at the start of the game 4-0. One of two free throws by Bridges at the line. Here's Sharp working against Bridges. Ooh. Here's steal there by Bridges. They're going to call him for the foul. He is headed out. Here is Caleb Lohner, the BYU transfer, coming on. Western State inbounding on their baseline. 20 on the shot clock. Outside for three. Shot is no good. Loose ball tipped out. Cryer claims it. The miss by Dane Grimm. Pryor misfires on a three. Caleb Lohner, the offensive rebound. That was a hard screen right there. That's, that's one, of those, one of those screens that you, you're big or somebody has to call it out. Oh, Here my goodness. At midcourt. Watch out, watch out. Oh. Yeah, somebody has to call that out. If I'm the guy that got hit by the screen, I'm yelling at my teammates, like, don't let me get my head knocked off. That's one of those everybody in the arena sees yeah, it coming except the one except guy. For him. Who gets clocked. Yeah, somebody has to communicate that. Inbound for the Bears in a trap, and the ball's knocked away and stolen. Marcus Sharp with the dunk at the other end. Yeah, when you're under, underneath out of bounds for Baylor, you cannot let the ball go to the corner. They are inviting that. You have to throw the ball up top and punt. If you have to, go behind the half-court line. But you can't get caught in the corner. 7-6, Bears on top. Six and a half minutes in, first half. Dale Bonner on the perimeter. 
to Langston Love. His three skips over the rim. Ojanwuna can't get the rebound. Out of bounds will stay with Baylor. Ball last touched by Greedy Williams of Northwestern State. It's a great steal. You get the ball on the corner. This is what happens. You get trapped. And you get an easy dunk for DeMarcus Sharp. Monte Black is back on for Northwestern State. That's Jalen Hampton, 6'6 freshman from St. Louis. Some athletic dudes on this Northwestern State team. Hey, there's a reason why they're 83 and oh, there's a reason why that man is averaging 19 points per game in the last three. His ability to make tough shots, that's a really hard shot to make. A fadeaway coming off, trying to get your feet set. He, he's really an elite scorer. Dante George, couple of made threes. It's a 10-6 Baylor lead. Caleb Lohner whistled for the foul on the perimeter. Just look how tough this shot is. You have to get your right foot around square to the rim, and there's a defender flying at you, so he's contesting it. That is a tough shot to make. Dante George, fabulous freshman for the Bears from Louisville. Demons put the ball back in play. Top of the key, three shot, no good by Black. Offensive rebound by Hampton, kick to the corner. That three is an air ball. Shot forced up, no good. Keontae George finally claims it for the Bears. And you have to kick that one out. You can't go up against the 6'11", 6'10", guy down there. Joshua Ojanwuna in the middle for the Bears. Gets the feed. One dribble to the rack, and he puts it in. Uh, he's starting to get so much more comfortable. You know, down low at the beginning of the season, he was a little hesitant. He was looked like very, he was very raw. But now his confidence is starting to grow. You saw the play in Washington State game on the roll. He dunked on the guy. I mean, those plays right there, he's growing so much. Bears lead at 12-6 over Northwestern State. Going to milk that clock a little bit. Now put the play oh. in action. Sharp, drive, spin, shot no good. Hampton, the follow for two. And Western State being very deliberate with their possession. Getting the most they can out of every single possession. Hampton averages seven and a half points per game. Here's Ojunwuna, free throw line jumper on the turnaround. Look good, just off the mark. And Marcus Sharp will bring it up. They'll let that clock drain down a little bit. Langston Love steps up on him. Drive by Sharp. Finally gets the pass away to Prim in the paint, but a traveling call on Dane Prim. That'll get us to a timeout, 11.05 on the clock. For but still, that's an impressive win to go into Fort Worth and beat the Horn Frogs, that's impressive. I mean, Coach Gibson does a tremendous, he's done a tremendous job with this team. Down four to the Bears as play resumes. Under 11 minutes to play in the first half here in the Farrell Center. Breyer gives to Langston Love. Runner in the paint, shot no good. Crash in the boards hard. The foul's going to be on who? On Love. No, on Flo Thamba. Bamba clearing out a little space there, trying to get the rebound, whistled for his first foul. And part of the reason why this, you know, Demons team has seen so much success is because they're in a zone. They play a 2-3 zone, but it's not your traditional, you know, Syracuse type of 2-3 zone. It's really unorthodox, and you don't know where the traps are coming. You don't know who rotates over. Pull up three in transition after breaking the press. Shot no good by Jamonte Black. Rebound. Flo Thamba. Langston Love all the way to the rack. Misses on the layup. Remains 12-8. Baylor on top. 10-20 and counting the first half. No Adam Flagler for the Bears this evening. He is not even on the bench tonight. Uh, oh. Illness. Wow. Oh, the calling foul. Slow for that foul. Blocking foul and Flo Thamba, his second person. What do you think? Uh, that's a close one. 
That's a close one. I, I mean, it can go either way. That's a 50-50 call. He did get there just a tad bit late, but he was still set. Well, he's pleading his case over there. Screw Coach Drew. To Doug Sermons. Great crew, officiating crew tonight. Doug Sermons, Brooks Wells, Chance Moore, our three officials. Jalen Hampton shooting free throws. First one's no good. Their first free throw of the night. Second one rolls off. Mr. Boat, Deontay George, the rebound. The hold. Once again, somebody has to talk. <laughs> the John Luna is fouled as he goes up for the shot. You just can't keep letting your guy get constantly get hit in the middle of the middle of the floor. Somebody has to talk and call that out. It's like he'd be saying to his teammates, uh, hey, help me out here. Yeah, somebody has to talk. That was the second time, man. That's the right call right there. That's a foul. Shots from a John Luna. Now is on Sharp, his first. And Josh's first one leaves it short, no good. 68% free throw shooter on the year. He's every bit of the rim and drops in. One of two by Josh Ojunwuna. Makes it 13-8, Baylor on top. This point of the first half, Baylor leads by five. Really uh, low scoring pace so far to start this game. Uh, this is not a lot of buckets. Oh, wow. Once again with the isolation. Haney, step back three is good over Caleb Lohner. These Northwestern guards are extremely talented. These aren't your average guards that you see in the mid major, mid major. When you look at Haney, when you look at Sharp, these guys can score and they can fill it up with the best of them, no matter what the level is. Oh, John Wynn misses from the mid paint area. 13 11 the score. Baylor on top. Here's Haney again. All right, they're picking on Caleb Lona right now. Tell him to get flat every single time he's, he's up top. They'll shoot over him. Shot is good. Same shot. Back to back trips down the floor. This one by Jamonte Black. And a 6 0 run by the Demons gives them a 14 13 lead. This comes down to you just have to take pride on the defensive side, and I think that's been one of the biggest struggles for this Baylor team this season. They're, they're not the same Baylor defense that we've seen the past two or three years. So they have to figure it out. Normally they're a top 25, top 10 defense every single year. This year they're around somewhere in like the 40s or the 50s. Not the same level, and they have to get that corrected before they go into the Big 12 conference play. They have to take more pride in it. Loader by L.J. Cryer gives Baylor the lead back at 15 to 14. Black has it on the perimeter, gives to Haney on the left wing. Once again, isolating Caleb Loner. And he will drive on him. Pass, batted away. Ends up back in the hands of Black. He'll shoot a three and hit it. Wow, ball pinballed around, ended up in the hands of Black. And he knocks down the three. Third straight trip down the floor for a made three for the Demons. Winston Love. Lost the handle. Gets it back. Shot blocked. Love. Back outside to Keontae George. But Jay Moore, this is the Northwestern State team. We talk about their talent, but when they start seeing the ball go in, they get extremely confident. And after the win against TCU, their confidence feels like they can really, really win this game because they've done it before and they're experienced, so they know what it takes. No good on the three by Keontae George. Rebound to Marcus Sharp. Two-point lead for the visitors from Natchitoches, Louisiana. Black looks to drive, cut off by Cryer, gets it back outside. <laughs> Working against Loner again. Marcus Sharp. And passed it into the third row. Turnover, Northwest. Marcus Sharp has four for Northwestern State. Black has six. They're two of their top three scores. Haney has five. And the Demons lead by two of the Bears as play resumes here at the Farrell Center. Dale Bonner back on the floor. Bonner got the start tonight in place of the ill 
Adam Flagler. Shot no good. Rebound, Demons. Yeah, this is better. Have Dale Bonner up top because it's going to be hard to score on him. It's going to be hard to get a bucket on Dale Bonner because Dale is an elite defender. See Majak Queth on the floor for Northwestern State. 6'8 junior from Salt Lake City. Brother of Kerr Queth played at Oklahoma, now at Marquette. And he's short on that jumper left elbow. Deontay George brings it the other way. George floater, no good. Oh, John Luna there for the putback. Yeah, if you're Baylor right now, you want to keep Dale at the top of this defense as long as you can because one-on-one, -on -one, you cannot isolate Dale. Well, that becomes a strength if you've got Dale Bonner up there. As good as uh, pressure as he puts on defensively. Ball out of bounds. Going to go over to the Bears. Baylor ball in a tie game. Yeah, Dell is their best perimeter defender on this Baylor team. Bonner the start for the Bears tonight. The senior from Shaker Heights, Ohio. Transfer from Fairmont State. Bonner puts the offense in motion. Breyer, well that pass was telegraphed, stolen easily by Haney. And then blocked out of bounds by Bridges. If you're Haney, you have, if you're Haney, this is a good steal, first and foremost. Get in the passing lane, get out in transition. But look at this right there. He had Black right behind him for the open three. And he's already hit a tough one. Slow down, kick it back. Get an open three in transition. And all of his teammates knew it, too. They were all pointing back <laughs> to Black. Here's Queth. Shot no good. Put back, rolls off, no good. Oh, John Wuna, the rebound of the miss by Jalen Hampton. Yeah, if you're Northwestern State, you don't want to attack Oh, John Wuna down there. He's too long, too athletic. Kick the ball out. George, floater, no good. Bridges, the rebound, the kick out to Bonner, no good. They're starting to get some offensive rebounds. Oh, John Wuna, partially blocked in there. And really a double team. And Western State comes away with the ball. Yeah, that could have maybe been a foul, but Ojan Muna has done an amazing job down there imposing his will. Well, Golden Eagles in Milwaukee. Yeah, but uh, Baylor's defense. Marquette is known to do that. I was talking to Ed Cooley. I had a Providence game, and yeah. it just happened to be Providence last year. They were a top-10 team all season. They go to Marquette and get beat by 30. I mean, Providence, Marquette is known to do that at least once. Dale Bonner, the steal and the layup at the other end. There's that defense by Dale Bonner leading directly to points. Yeah, he's, that, that's what Dale Bonner is going to, that's his better bread and butter. That's where he's going to make the biggest difference on this Baylor team. Bears have the lead. Crowd getting into it now. Defense leading directly to offense fires up the crowd. Greedy Williams to Black. Shot no good. Oh, John Wunder the rebound. Led to L.J. Cryer for Baylor. Cryer looks for an opening. Gives instead to Bridges on the perimeter. Back to Dale Bonner. Bridges now Keontae George. To Bridges. In the paint. Goes to work. Spin. Shot. No good. Loose ball tipped out to George. The pass. To the open man in the corner. And Cryer nails the triple. That's a great pass. First off, the tip-off from Ojan Muna, keeping the possession alive. And Keontae, heads up, knowing where his teammate is, kick it to the corner. That's a great awareness play right there. That's a 7-0 run for the Bears and a steal by Bonner. Make it 9 unanswered by Baylor. Another Bonner steal and bucket. Timeout, Northwestern State. 46 seconds. And that adds up to Baylor's biggest lead of the half, 24-17. Crowd got into it too. Not a bad crowd for a Christmas week game. Final game before Christmas for both. Right, this is where you need to get the market sharp for basketball. You have to put him in a situation to be able to score because he's your leading scorer, your best player. Let the market shop go to work. There he is. He's got the ball working on Cryer. Shot no good. Zach Loveday off the bench grabs the rebound for the Bears. Up the floor in a hurry. Cryer shot, no good. Saved in bounds by Bridges and stolen by Haney on the perimeter. 
Haney back, and that's a charge. And who took it? Dale Bonner. That's such a good defensive play. This is not easy to do in transition. Beat the man to the spot off the bounce when you're backpedaling on the defensive side. That is an impressive defensive play, which is why I continuously say Dale Bonner is the best perimeter defender for this Baylor team, and he keeps showing it why. What a great stretch for Dale Bonner. He's going to bring the ball up here. Two and a half minutes to play before halftime. Bears leading by seven. Bridges in the paint, kicks it out to Langston Love. The crier pull up jumper, no good. Sharp had the ball knocked out of his hands by Bridges. Demons ball, they are eight and three on the season. They had won seven straight until their last game, their most recent game. A uh, pretty decisive loss at Rice, 110 to 73, came on Saturday. Prior to that, a seven game win streak. For a first year head coach with a lot of new players, 11 new faces. It's getting some stuff done in the early part of the season. Hunter, again, gumming up the works there. Nice ball out of bounds. Western State going to inbound. Taylor again, some three quarter court pressure. Reedy Williams, the trigger man. Bounds to Black at midcourt. They set up the offense in the half court. 2.05 on the clock, first half. Baylor 24, Northwestern State 17. Reggie Hill back out there, gives to Black, seven to shoot. Now five to shoot. Hill down low, shot up and in. I don't know how he got that one up right there. <laughs> he had Ojan Wuna in front of him, and Bridge is slapping at the ball from behind, and he got the bucket. First points in over five minutes for Northwestern State. 5.49 scoring drought. There's Bridges flies in for the offensive rebound. Honor to Cryer. And lost the ball out of bounds. Right. John Wuna out of bounds. That's a good look right there from LJ, but you know, John Wuna, as much as he has grown, he still has a little bit, little, little ways to go. And that right there is a tough, you put him in a tough spot. So Northwestern State will inbound a minute 22 on the clock. Five point lead for the Bears. They were at number 12 in the nation this week. The thing about Northwestern State, they have won some, uh, some road games this year. Four true road game victories. It's the second most of any school in the nation. Yeah, that's impressive. I mean, this is a team who's used to winning this season. So they're never scared of the moment. And, and their only technical bad loss was the last one against Rice. Haney brings it up for the Demons. The Black, quick three. Shot no good. Sharp fighting for the rebound. Takes it away. Kick it to the open man. Haney's three is good from in front of the Baylor bench. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're poised, they're mature, like right there. They Baylor went on a 9-0 run and thought they were pulling away, but they somehow find a way to make shots, get stops, and now they're only down by two. Dante George looking to drive. That's a blocking foul. It's going to be called on Reggie Hill. And that'll be the one plus. So Baylor in the bonus now. Gante George will go to the free throw line. Game or 10 games in for Baylor this year. This is the 11th game of the year. So much buildup for Keontae George. What have you seen from him? First 10 games of his Baylor career. I think his maturity on the defensive side has grown the most. He's a scorer. He's always been a scorer. In high school, he got buckets. But defensively, will he? What, what was he willing to buy in? And I think that's been his biggest growth, his biggest improvement. And I've honestly been impressed with his playmaking ability too. I mean, he's turned into a reliable playmaker. Last game, he had some passes that were extremely impressive. Uh, he just 
playmaking and defense have been the two things where I've really looked at him in, as, in a different light. Five to shoot. Haney working Ooh. against the defense of George. Deontay George going to be whistled for the foul. That's his first. Twenty-four, twenty-two. Baylor on top. Sixteen point five seconds to go before halftime. If you're Northwestern State right now, do not turn the ball over. The key is you have to either go in down by two or tied or up by one. But you cannot turn the ball over and allow Baylor to get another possession. Shot clock is off. They can get to the final shot of the half. Eight seconds. Now seven. Now six. All knocked out of the hands of Sharp. Now he's got to hurry. Three seconds working against Love. Forces the shot. It is no good. And pretty good defense there to begin this second half. Remember, Baylor playing without Adam Flagler tonight. Flagler out with an illness. But to have him back. Well, we got a Christmas break. Bears don't play again until the 28th. Certainly hope to have him back uh, by that game. But for his sake, hope Adam is uh, feeling better very, very soon. Bonner the open three. That is no good from the left wing. Whistle and a foul on the rebound attempt. Going to go against the uh, big man Jordan Wilmore for Northwestern State. That's his third. Yeah, that's definitely a foul. Kind of a headlock there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's definitely a foul. I mean, Wilmore makes Flo look small. <laughs> he does. <laughs> it bounced to Flo, and it's tied up, and the possession arrow favors the Demons. So a turnover by Baylor, and the Demons have the ball. Two-point game, inbounds, out-of-bounds off Jalen Bridges. Mentioned it at halftime. That is, this is Baylor's lowest scoring first half of the year with 24 points. Here comes Haney bringing it across the midcourt strike. On the perimeter, Jalen Hampton with the ball. Into the paint, sharp, shot no good. Gets his own miss and puts it in. That's a bucket for Sharp, and that is his ninth rebound of the night. How about that for Sharp? That's a tough bucket right there. Now six points and nine rebounds, and it's a tie game at 24. Pass to Bonner floating down the paint, and it's shot is good. Uh, first two possessions for Baylor. That has been great ball movement. They're uh, really sharing the ball and getting in the crevices of the defense. Taylor goes back up by two, minute and a half into the second half. Hampton gives the ball to DeMarcus Sharp. Sharp working against Bridges. Bridges right with it. Back out to Haney for three. It is no good. Rebound knocked loose. L.J. Cryer comes down with it. George up the floor. Round the perimeter to Bridges for three. Ball skips over the rim. No good. And the key thing for Bridges is he just has to keep shooting. He's only shooting 15% from three on the year. He's a much better three-point shooter than that. That's not a true representation of the type of shooter he is. He just has to keep shooting and cannot drop his head when he misses a shot. Black hands the ball to Haney between the rings. Now six on the shot clock. Haney looking for an opening. Runner, no good. Bridges the rebound for the Bears. Which is very active here in the early going of the pass. second half. Great pass and an extra pass. Blow thumb of the bucket for the Bears. That's a great job right there. L.J. Cryer becoming a playmaker. Hit Dale Bonner right there for the cut. Dale Bonner dish it off to begin this second half. Remember, Baylor playing without Adam Flagler tonight. Flagler out with an illness. To have him back. Well, we got a Christmas break. Bears don't play again until the 28th. Certainly hope to have him back uh, by that game. But for his sake, hope Adam is uh, feeling better very, very soon. 
Bonner the open three. That is no good from the left wing. Whistle and a foul on the rebound attempt. Going to go against the uh, big man Jordan Wilmore for Northwestern State. That's his third. Yeah, that's definitely a foul. Kind of a headlock there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's definitely a foul. I mean, Wilmore makes Flo look small. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Inbounds to Flo, and it's tied up, and the possession arrow favors the Demons. So a turnover by Baylor, and the Demons have the ball. Two-point game, inbounds, out-of-bounds off Jalen Bridges. Mentioned it at halftime. That is, this is Baylor's lowest scoring first half of the year with 24 points. Here comes Haney bringing it across the midcourt strike. On the perimeter. Jalen Hampton with the ball. Into the paint, sharp. Shot no good. Gets his own miss and puts it in. That's a bucket for Sharp, and that is his ninth rebound of the night. How about that for Sharp? That's a tough bucket right there. Now six points and nine rebounds, and it's a tie game at 24. Pass to Bonner floating down the paint, and it's shot is good. Right. First two possessions for Baylor. That has been great ball movement. They're really sharing the ball and getting in the crevices of the defense. Baylor goes back up by two, minute and a half into the second half. Hampton gives the ball to DeMarcus Sharp. Sharp working against Bridges. Bridges right with it. Back out to Haney for three. It is no good. Rebound knocked loose. L.J. Pryor comes down with it. To George up the floor. Round the perimeter to Bridges for three. Ball skips over the rim. No good. And a key thing for Bridges is he just has to keep shooting. He's only shooting 15% from three on the year. He's a much better three-point shooter than that. That's not a true representation of the type of shooter he is. He just has to keep shooting and cannot drop his head when he misses a shot. Black hands the ball to Haney between the rings. Now six on the shot clock. Haney looking for an opening. Runner, no good. Bridges the rebound for the Bears. Just very active here in the early going of the pass. second half. Great pass and an extra pass. Blow Thamba the bucket for the Bears. That's a great job right there. LJ Cryer becoming a playmaker. Hit Dale Bonner right there for the cut. Dale Bonner dish it off to a lot of talented players, and you know, all the credit is due to him. He's definitely turned into a great leader for this Baylor program. Very nice recognition for Flo Thamba prior to the game tonight. He's on the bench. His play resumes here. Bears. Cryer. Three. No good. Works like a pass to Caleb Lohner, who puts it up and in. First points tonight by Caleb Lohner. Bears build a lead to 14. They've outscored Northwestern State 14 to 2 here in the second half. Demons just have two points in the first six minutes of the half. Marion McDonald dribbles on the perimeter. Give to Hampton. Shot no good. Rebound Loner. Yeah, Baylor's starting to really turn it up. And it's not as easy as it was in the first half. Really taking pride on the defensive side in the second half. Pass to John Luna. It's knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with the Bears. Subs in for uh, Coach Corey Gibson. Jock Quiff is back on. And Jordan Wilmore is back out there as well. There's Quiff. Honor inbounding. Gets it in the hands of Cryer. Cryer and Bonner, two leading scores for the Bears right now with 11 points. Shot miss. Loner had the rebound, then lost it. 
In transition, a three by Black, no good. McDonald, the rebound. Pass underneath to Sharp, who puts it in. Marcus Sharp, only the second basket in the second half for Northwestern State. Yeah, Baylor's done a great job of making it tough for Sharp. Taking him, taking him away, taking him out. Normally averages 16. Right now, not on pace to get a 16. They're doing a great job of really making it hard for him. Yeah, he's sitting at six points right now, and that's three of ten shooting from the floor. Although he gets back-to-back -back baskets, <laughs> now four of 11. As soon as I say that, right. he comes down and gets a bucket. <laughs> right. Drew wants it. The Baylor coaching staff behind Coach Scott Drew. Langston Love puts the ball in the hands of Keontae George, and we're back to play. To Bridges at the free throw line. Back to George for three. Shot no good. Queth the rebound. Had it knocked out of his hands. And it goes out of bounds off of Langston Love. There is DeMarcus Sharp at 10 points and nine rebounds tonight. A really good rebounding from the guard position. He's got nine. Uh, Hampton has six. Nobody else has more than one rebound-wise for Northwestern State. Wow. Bounds to Marion McDonald. Sharp back to McDonald. That's a good call. That's a good call. Got him for the hook. He let him slide on the first one, but the second one he had the call. Well, the Bears get the ball back up by 10. Nearing the 12 minute mark here in the second half. Baylor 38, Northwestern State 28. George to Cryer, to Love, to Cryer. Bridges in the paint, turnaround, shot, tough shot. Good looking bucket by Jalen Bridges. Yeah, that's what he can do. I mean, not shooting the three well, well, get to your spots, get to the middle of the lane, be able to build your confidence by seeing the ball go in a few times. This line jumper no good by Sharp, rebound Love. Three on one bait, break. Cryer tried the alley oop to Keontae George. He overshot him. Ball goes out of bounds and over. They have probably the best player in the conference that nobody talks about. Uh -huh. Keontae Johnson, not George. Keontae Johnson, extremely efficient. You will see him in the NBA. He's that level of good. So they're good. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Wildcats will be here in the Farrell Center January 7th. I'll be on that game. Oh, nice. Very good. I get to do the return of Coach Payne. Oh, that's a biggie. A lot of pressure in the backcourt. Northwestern State finally breaks it, gets the shot. No good. Low thumb of the rebound. Bears have the ball up by 12. The 11-minute mark in the second half. Thamba to George. Lost it out of bounds or... No, yep, lost it out of bounds. Turnover Bears. The Bears had just five turnovers in the first half. Sitting at eight now for the game. Still a very manageable number. You can keep it in single digits. You're doing Impressive. Some, yeah. you're, you're taking care of the basketball. Wow, Keontae George draws the... Player control foul there on the perimeter on McDonald, his second foul. Yeah, this is the obvious one. A clear push off, that's the right call. The ball goes over to the Bears. Prior to the bench, Dale Bonner is back on. Baylor 40, Northwestern State 28. Bridges on the baseline, outside to George, into the paint. Ball movement by Baylor. 
Tan to shoot. Bonner drives, drops it off, but there's a charge on Dale Bonner. That one's drawn by Greedy Williams. Yeah. Throw with the shoulder, took it with the chest. That's a charge. The backcourt pressure again by Baylor. Bounds to Black. Fomba defending there and out of bounds off low. That was close to forcing a turnover in the backcourt. Turnovers right now 10 apiece. 10 by Northwestern State, 10 by Baylor. Black, free throw line, floater, rolls in for Jamonte Black. And this Northwestern State team just won't go away. They keep lingering around, they just won't go away. Black, one of the transfers from Missouri State, he's from Columbia. Their head coach Corey Gibson came to Northwestern State from Missouri State as the associate head coach there. Sharp drives in, fouled on his trip to the basket. Going to call it on Flo Thamba. Yeah, take a look at this. Yeah, that's a clear foul. Hit him on the arm. So Sharp to the free throw line. Western State looking for their first made free throw tonight. Now they've only shot two in their 0 for 2. Make it one for three as Sharp hits here. Marcus Sharp has had to work for every point he's gotten tonight. He's got 11, make it 12. Averages 16.3 per game. Baylor lead is now 8, 40 to 32. There's extending their lead rebounding wise, now 32 to 25. There's another one, and that rebound leads to the bucket by Jalen Bridges. That's what Jalen Bridges has to do right now. I mean, if you're not shooting the ball well, you have to be able to be effective in other ways. Make winning plays for your team and help your team win in other ways other than scoring. It's going to be a travel just shy of midcourt by Dale Bonner, so another turnover by the Bears. Now, Bridges can be very active in there. He's so strong. He's so uh, really a versatile player at that spot. Yeah, I mean, at 6'7", he's athletic. He can really, he can become an elite defender. He can be a good rebound. He can almost be a glue guy. And the more he does the small things, does the little things, his shot will eventually fall. He just has to be able to be effective in other ways. Sharp to Black, three-pointer no good, rebound. L.J. Cryer. Eight and a half minutes to go, Bears by ten. This is a two-point Baylor lead at halftime, 24-22. George, no good. Rebound, Black. Tough shot, turn around. Sharp with the bucket. That's a tough shot. That's a pretty turnaround fader right there. He's up to 14 points on the night, Sharp. Has found ways to score. Bridges. There's a three. Jalen Bridges knocks down the three-pointer. I know that one feels good. Black floater across the paint. No good. Rebound Thamba. Outlet to Bonner. Here come the Bears on the run. Bonner to George to Cryer for three. No good. Deontay George trying to get the rebound. Out of bounds. How about you? Uh, as I got older, I realized Christmas just really isn't about me anymore. Now, when you have kids, well, I only have one kid, but it's all about her. So all I've been doing is 
Christmas shopping for my daughter and, and my family, so I don't really want anything. As long as she's happy and she's smiling, that, that's all that matters that's to me. That's very nice. That's very nice. Wait till you go next level and wait till you have grandkids. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is... That is very fun. Oh, wow. I feel like if my daughter's already spoiled, I can just imagine what I'll do to <laughs> yeah, my grandkids. exactly. Yeah. Another three-point miss by Northwestern State. They are 0 for 9 in the second half. Daniel tells us from three-point range. How about Jalen Bridges feeling it with another made three? Yeah, you can just tell by the coaching staff, the way they, reaction, where they reacted to Jalen Bridges hitting the second three. This is huge because they know they're going to need him when conference play starts. And games like this where he can really get his confidence back. Puts the Bears up by 14, 48-34. Ties for their biggest lead of the night. Three by Black. This one is no good. 0 for 10 from beyond the arc in the second half for the Demons. Fryer, nice pass in traffic to Flo Famba. Nice pass, and Thumba did a good job handling that pass right. down low in traffic. Yeah, it's just a great finish, great concentration right there by Flo to be able to handle the pass, but also finish through contact. Now the biggest lead of the night for the Bears at 16 points. Here's DeMarcus Sharp looking for a little bit of an opening. Oh, that's great defense from LJ Cryer right there. Ryder was right on him in a shot clock violation. Fist pump by L.J. Cryer. He knew he did his job well defensively. Yeah, that might have been the best defense all night for Baylor on that possession. I mean, L.J. Cryer, that is who he has to be. He has to be that guy night in, night out. He has to be able to guard the ball no matter who they are playing. His ability to stay in front of the basketball, use his chest, not use his hands, not reach in, but just stay in front of the basketball was impressive right there. And, that's who he has to be night in, night out. There's inbound against the Northwestern State. Pressure. Whistle away from the ball. Big Sermon's going to tell us. Now on Reggie Hill of Northwestern State. Third personal. He'll transfer from Eastern Florida State College, originally from Melbourne, Florida. So the Missouri State transfers are uh, DeMarcus Sharp, Isaac Haney, DeMonte Black, and I thought there was one more, but it's those three. So three really key players for Northwestern State coming, making the move with head coach Corey Gibson. Loader, no. Hampton, yes, on the follow. Jalen Hampton, the bucket, four on the night. 50 to 36, Baylor leads. Under five minutes to play in the ballgame. Keontae George, three, no good. Rebound, Bridges, and put back. Bridges, 13 on the night. The season high is 15 against Northern Colorado. There's Black launching a three. No good. Loose ball knocked out of the hands of, of Bridges. Black is not shy at all. <laughs> he is looking to chuck from the three-point line. And he's two for 14 shooting beyond the arc. Williams trying to get away from the defense of Keontae George, and George is fouled on the play. Correction, the season high for Bridges is 20. He's sitting at uh, 13 right now. Jalen Bridges for Baylor. Marcus Sharp, leading scorer for the Demons. On the season and tonight, puts in two more there. He's got 16 this evening. That was not an easy shot. Yeah, no, Sharp could make some tough shots. But that's good defense. That's just a better shot. Liners 
pass batted away, saved inbounds by Quest. And Black firing away and hits this three-pointer from the right-hand corner. Well, like you said, not shy at all about putting the ball up. That's the type of confidence you have to have as a shooter. It's made three in the second half by Northwestern State. Now one for 12 in the half from beyond the arc. George, pull up. Free throw line jumper, no good. Wow. Pack another three. Rims out, Quest wow. to Black, another three, <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> An eight point game. This Northwestern State team just won't go away. Just when you thought Baylor was going to run up the score. They hit this one. It's, it's going to be a great conference. Back to play with 2.42 on the clock. Inbounds to Bonner. He's immediately converged upon by two defenders. Gets the ball away. And a foul. It's going to be on DeMarcus Sharp. That will put Langston Love to the free throw line for the Bears. Sharp had to work, but he's got 16 points. He's got a double-double also. He got to 10 rebounds. It's the first double-double of uh, Mar DeMarcus Sharp's career tonight. Love good on the free throw. His first point this evening. Second one's good. Langston Love, couple of points at the free throw line. The lead is 10 for the Bears. Three Baylor players in double figure scoring tonight. Bridges with 13, Fryer with 11, Bonner with 11. Sharp has 16 to lead all scores. Now Black has 14. Fouls on LJ Cryer, his first. Sharp's free throw is good. Point number 17 on the night. Second one, no good. Josh Ojunwuna, the rebound for the Bears. Honor across midcourt. To love. Bears content to run a little clock here with the ball in their hands. Under two minutes on the game clock. Now 12 on the shot clock. Of the Bonner trapped in the corner. Spots loner, shot up, no, and a foul. Very close to a three-point opportunity for Caleb Loner. That was a good pass right there. Dale Bonner driving the gap. Looked like the play was stuck on the right side, but Dale Bonner found a way with his quickness, got to the paint. It's a great pass. Loner good on the free throw. There's 7 of 10 shooting free throws this evening. 72% on the year. Right about that. A little above as Loner hits both. Lead is at 11 for the Bears. 56 points. Baylor's lowest uh, scoring total in a game this year is 64. That was in a win, the win over Gonzaga, 64-63. The game in the Pentagon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 
If I told you Baylor had 64 point points against Gonzaga, would you think they'd won the game? No. <laughs> right. No. I mean, that was an impressive win. I'm Adam Flagler with the two threes at the end of the game. And he's such a great player. Oh, nice pass. Pocket pass by Dale Bonner to Loner for the bucket. Beautiful assist. Assist number seven tonight by Bonner. Now the Baylor defense that night held Gonzaga to 63. Going into that game, Gonzaga was one and Baylor was two and Kim Palm's adjusted offensive efficiency in the nation. And it ended up a game in the 60s. Sharp turnaround, no good. Never made it to the rim, out of bounds. Baylor's ball with 27.6 seconds to play. Right, that's another great defensive play by LJ Cryer. Staying in front of the ball, making it really tough for Sharp right there. Great defense by Cryer. Really some good Baylor defense start of the second half that turned this game uh, in Baylor's favor. And they definitely picked up the intensity in the second half, and that's how they won this ball game. Love harassed defensively, forced into the turnover, the travel. Northwestern staying with the ball, 16.3 seconds to play. Here comes DeMarcus Sharp across midcourt. How about another three by Black, and he hits it from the corner. Wow, not shy at all. His 20th three-point attempt tonight. He's hit five of them. Final seconds, and Baylor has.